Good morning, everyone. It is morning in game as well. We are just collecting straw from field 13, I believe it is. And then we're going to have to plow the field as well. Field 13 is actually quite a large field. Farmer Joe is just finishing off harvesting it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Sorry, bud. Hit the tire. It's all okay. It's a soft impact. <laughs> That's why our trailer went flying. Taking a shortcut through the uh, cheap pasture. And that's the fastest way to get from the farm to field 13. Onto the road, back off the road. Certainly getting a lot of straw off this field. How are you guys doing today? It's been a nice quiet night for us. It's been the first time we see a sunrise in this game or this map. Oh, there's actually a sun too. Oh, I am missing some straw. Quick 360 here. It's kind of cool seeing the sun over the ocean there. Couple of contrails from our jet. Hot air balloon must have been out all night. There's Farmer Joe. Looks like she's actually done with the field now. Just storing our wheat. Guess I can't sightsee while uh, collecting straw. can't even make it around the field, or up and down the field, twice without having the loading wagon full, so... Two and a half rows fill up the loading wagon, so that's a lot of work. And the best price is... at the Sandy Bay Farm still, or barn. So not our farmyard, but way on the other side of the map. It's a couple extra dollars in gas, but even if there's a dollar difference, you make up for it in gas. Time to go. 
go for a scenic drive. <clears throat> Bigger loading trailer in the future will make this nicer. Not as many trips. Especially down these bumpy roads. Now, Farmer Joe, when you're using that loading trailer, I've parked it in a bit of a tricky spot to get to, so you have to get to a funny angle. If there's any issues, just let me know and I'll help you out. Seems like we're following that uh, military plane. Keep seeing it in the background. Um. Let me uh, jump over to it and I'll show you the tricks I've learned. So just a second here. So I go inside camera view and line it up. Those two yellow lines try to line up right in the center. And you want to go push far enough that you're just over those markers, right? So that's kind of go just like that and then drop it right there. And it usually locks right in and then you've got a hook onto the back of it. Although I got that a little bit sideways on there, but hopefully that stays. Don't want to run you over, so I will jump back to my tractor. Okay, down this big hill. Oh, nick the fence. That's not good. the ocean front. Some beachgoers out early morning. Oh, some people boondocking. I see the RV in the parking lot. Always thought that'd be fun. Boondock all over the place. See the country in a very affordable way. We're doing, uh, in June and July, we're doing a, well, we're planning on doing a huge, huge trip. Month-long road trip, starting at mile zero on Highway 1 in Victoria, BC. Going to mile zero in Halifax, no, bad, very bad. Get my names right. St. John's, Newfoundland. Mile zero, St. John's, Newfoundland. And if we've planned it right, we will be in St. John's, Newfoundland on Canada Day. And it's Canada's 150th birthday, so we also have free National Park Pass. So it should be a epic road trip, a lot of driving, and some beautiful scenery. So 
I plan on uh, setting up the GoPro on the dashboard and I'll post some of the videos to YouTube. So. And of course during that time there will be no farming sim uh, videos being posted so that's last two weeks of June to first two weeks of July. It's going to be the most epic vacation we've ever done. Biggest road trip we've ever done and probably ever will do. awesome if you could do that every year. Yes, not the same road trip every year. I mean, I, I love driving, so... Oh, it's getting cloudy out. I love driving, so I could... Every vacation should be could be a driving vacation. Instead of laying on the beach relaxing, I'd rather be in the vehicle moving. Farmer Joe, I know how much you love uh, plowing, so if you bring the plow over to field 13, I'd be more than willing to switch jobs with you. No rush. Got disoriented there, I'm like, where am I? Am I there yet? Such a bumpy road. down to 54 liters of fuel, so I've got to keep an eye on that as well. Yeah, sure, if you want to fuel up that tractor before bringing it down here. That one's running a little low on fuel as well, so... You should build it back into that and at an angle and then still attach it to it. No luck. Okay, so I will 
reset the plow if it's stuck. Reset, yes, okay. Do I need to reset the tractor as well, or are you good? Good, okay. Um, it gets reset in that silage area. That's kind of nice. The, the equipment, if it gets stuck somewhere, it gets reset to the farmyard. With some of the other maps, it gets reset to um, the store or some random field. Oh, Farmer Joe's collecting an egg or two. Well, before we make that run to... Uh, yeah, it's still best price at uh, Sandy Bay Barn. Every dollar makes a difference. Maybe, um... Maybe I'll swing by the farm here. I'll stop at the farm and switch over to the other tractor. Does that work for you? up on the road here, right by the pig pen. Jump over the hedge. Oh, I've got to. I didn't realize the pig pen was uh, that much of a cliff. Um, continue on the road you are straight down and ooh there's some graffiti on our yard I hope that means something I know that's oxygen David up there but the logo itself it's um pretty cool graffiti oxygen David is the uh, creator of this map. And then I wonder if this graffiti on here means anything. Kinda cool. Little Easter egg. Now where is our tractor parked? That's our combine. By the silage yard. into the New Holland. Let's take this narrow little alley. It is narrow, all right. Cheap pasture again. Big bump there. Ooh, it looks like Farmer Joe sold enough of that straw for us to pay off one more segment of our loan. Um, 
fold that sucker. And I don't like the direction. Let's turn it around the other direction. One thing I dislike about it always leaves a little bit of that straw from the original harvest, so I think I'm going to go around the whole field once and then put on allow, create fields, and then plow a little bit extra. Just so that, that straw that kind of gets left on the edge goes away. If the previous farmer was allowed to plant that far, I should be allowed to plant that far. We'll do one circle and then we'll see if we can correct that and make our field just slightly bigger. Thanks for fueling up this tractor. Yeah, I saw the big minus seven hundred dollars of fuel. That's okay. fields. It's going to follow that same 
furrow right along. That would be nice and straight. I could turn GPS on, couldn't I? <laughs> Not this connect plow. Let's see, we're missing a little bit here already. So it'll be straight for so and so long, and then we have to make a bit of a turn here. Oh, I disconnected it, so it turned off. I'm like, what's going on? Allow create fields. Let's uh, get the GPS going along the end of the row here, just so that we can match this up to that right there. Okay, let's try that again. That was a bit of a fail. Yeah, some of the longer rows you can't even get two passes before the straw is full. There, that is perfect. Bless you. Straw. This is working out very nicely. Make sure I hit save as soon as we're done. Because we don't want to accidentally lose everything or accidentally keep allow crop field or keep allow create field on and start plowing random grass. I have to do this to all our fields. Don't like going that close to the trees, but I have to, to get rid of that last bit of straw. Oh, no, no, not the straw that you're collecting. Straighten that corner out a little bit and that will make our lives easier. Get that corner out a little bit. 
softer of a turn. down the end of the field. <clears throat> so I guessed correctly, so we're going to have a nice straight end. this corner here and then we are done trimming oh this is going to be tricky I don't want to go off the rails here Let's see what that looks like I think that's just about perfect all right, I'm going to limit to field. All right, save this game. Um, I think we'll call that an episode. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you guys hit thumbs up if you guys enjoyed. I don't know why I'm using hand gestures. You guys can't see that. But hit the thumbs up. Thanks for watching. We will see you again next time. Have a good day.